Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today's one is a how to. So I'm focusing on the lips. So for today's how to I'm going to be showing you guys how to get fuller, bigger lips with only like three steps. So let's get to it shall we? <laughs> okay. So the first thing I like to do, a little trick, a little hack I guess I'm going to call it, is to condition my lips. So if they're really dry and cracked or they're like split or anything like that you're not going to get the best effect so what I like to do before I even apply all my makeup I'll apply a lip conditioner and just let it sit on my lips as I do my makeup routine and it'll just help moisturize them and actually does plump them up slightly not to a huge effect but it does sorry I'm just like trying to talk and apply at the same time it does um, plump them up slightly. Okay, once my lips have been moisturized, what I actually like to do is grab a highlighter. Usually, um, people like to do this after they've applied their lip liner and jazz like that. I do it before and after. So depending on the day, what look I'm doing depends on the highlight I'll use. Today, I'm going to use my Violet Boss um, Moon Gleam highlight from the trio. And sometimes I'll go in with a brush. Sometimes I'll just go in with my finger. And I'm just going to go over my cupid's bow and applying a highlight to this area is going to att attract light and make your lip look like lifted look more plump and i'm also going to apply it to the center of my bottom lip as well and just with that step will just make your lips look so full ah oh, so good next is overdrawing my lips now i know you've probably seen this a million times i actually like to use two lip liners because I'm just extra like that. So what I like to do first is go in with my natural lip liner from Rimmel in the shade 049. I like I just love this lip liner because it is basically the same shade as my natural lip colour, probably just slightly pinker. And I'll go and just start lining over my lips. And as you can see I'm just overlining it in the cupid's bow area. No, we're near the outer corner. I'm keeping to my natural lip shape. If you overline all around the lip, you're going to look like you have windburn or clown lips or something. And I know that's not what you're going for. And on the bottom lip, I'll keep to the natural, like, fullness on the front, but I'll slightly, like, slightly just a tiny little bit overline on the outer edges just there and then I like to fill them in so that you can't really tell that I was just overdrawn them Ooh, just like that so you can leave it just with like a lip liner um, just like that and you do have fuller looking lips especially because that highlight is sitting underneath the lip liner so it kind of shines through so you do look like you've got fuller looking lips, as you can see. I mean, that's what I do on it every day, but to really amp it up and make it look like I really do have, like, fuller looking lips, I'm going to take this, I know it's an eye coal, but I use it as a lip liner as well. This is the Espresso Lip Liner from Makeup Geek, and I'll just, again slightly overdraw, and because I've got that pink down originally, you won't be able to tell that we've overdrawn our lips. I like to leave a little bit of that pink kind of peeking through the top so that you th like everyone thinks it's your natural lips. But really, bish, we created that. And I'll literally just bring this slightly, slightly above my natural lips. Still having a bit of that pink showing through, like I said, and then again doing the same thing on the bottom and then I'll create that ombre effect so I'm just going to fill in the outer corner so that lip conditioner is so good like it just helps these um, lip pencils to glide on so easily so depending on the look depends if I go for a more of a pinkier nude or a brown nude usually I'll probably go for a brown nude just because it matches like it'll fade into my lips more like naturally than the pink. It stands out a little bit more. 
So I'm going to take the Zueva Liquid Lipstick in the shade Clear Message. And I'm just going to start filling in my lips and blending that brown out so it just is a faint shadow it's not obvious so ombre the lip and I just go over like I said the brown a few times to really blend it into the liquid lipstick I'm just running the tip of the liquid lipstick wand over the brown to just blend it out so you can use a gloss but the thing with using a gloss is that it makes it so obvious that you have overdrawn your lips because it settles on your natural lip line so i if i am doing like a serious like overdraw like this one I tend to like shy away or stay away from lip glosses. I mean, it's up to you at the, end the, at the end of the day. But what I like to do to kind of mimic like a glossy lip, I guess, or give a bit of light, a bit of attraction so it's not just a matte flat lip. I like to go in with a little bit of highlighter though. So again, we're going to take our highlighter. And again, I'm going to take the Moon Gleam shade. So I'm first going to apply it in dabbing motions just over our overdrawn area and again on the center and I only use a like a touch I don't want it to be like boom highlight I just want it to be like a subtle effect so I'll just kind of blend it into the, li the liquid lipstick just like that see this is a little bit harsh still I'm going to blend that in a little bit more and there we go you can just see it just makes your lips look a little fuller and a bit more like natural than just like matte and flat so this concludes today's tutorial my little how to on how to get fuller looking lips bigger lips naturally i hope you guys found it helpful it was basically like what like three four steps to this routine and i literally live for it if i really am going out clubbing or i want to just like have juicy plump looking lips this is my go-to and because it's liquid lip it will last you've got the um, two liners underneath so it's like really create a solid base so it won't budge it won't move I hope you guys did enjoy it I hope you found it helpful if you did like it make sure to give a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below and don't forget to hit the little bell next to it the little notification button so you guys can stay updated with all my latest videos and tutorials I post every Monday and um, I was going to say Wednesday, every Monday and Thursday now. So you guys will have two videos a week from me, if not more. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.